and welcome to another episode of My Iridescent Lifestyle. Thank y'all so much for coming to hang with your girl. You know I appreciate y'all. I don't know if you guys remember, but probably about 10 months ago, one of my first YouTube videos that I released, your girl was on a hunt for the viral Steve Madden TikTok bag. I could not find it anywhere. If you guys watched it, I'll make sure that I link it somewhere in this video um, for you guys to see if you didn't so that you could see how your girl was struggling but i went to probably about six different marshals and tj maxx within my city um for multiple days i called around um i had my best friend shout out to you best friend she doesn't even live in pittsburgh and she was looking in another state she was about to get into it with an employee because they tried to play her on one of these bags the struggle was real y'all the struggle was real so I even released a two-parter and I had another video down the line where I was looking for this bag again at another time and I still could not find it. So I kind of gave up on it. Um, but last, probably like two weeks ago, I was out with my husband. We were having like a, a, a husband and wife little day date and I needed a hat because your girl was looking real Don Kingish up here. Like I needed to retwist my hair in the, the worst way and I just didn't have a chance to. So I was looking for a hat and I'm walking through Marshalls and y'all, guess what? I found one. I found one. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. So let me show y'all her. I found her, y'all. I found her. Your girl found the viral Steve Matt and TikTok bag. I found it. Almost a year later. Talk about patience. As they say uh, in church, he might not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And he was on time with this bag because this is perfect for the spring and for the summer. Like, do y'all see this color? Look at her. She is rich. I absolutely love this color. So I found this at my local Marshalls and this retail for $34.99. Um, or not at Marshalls it did, but the original price is $88. This is the Style Babylon and this color is called Jungle Green. So I'm going to give y'all a little spin spin. This is the side, the back. The other side and then it has three straps you might as well say because it has the short little top handle it has a faux leather strap and then it has like I don't know if this is considered as nylon but it's like a little fabric strap and then it has the coin pouch on it so like I said I had given up on finding this bag I had really given up um, I had family and friends from out of town looking because for some reason in my city, we just get everything glass. Everything comes to the city of Pittsburgh glass. And so I was just like, okay, like I had waited. I had called, you know, different stores and I just couldn't find it. So I had just given up and I was just like, okay, maybe I'm not meant to have this bag. And when your girl least expected it, she landed right in my lap. I was just walking through the store and she was, it was right in the front. Um, of the purses like on like a little table and it was the only one I even looked through and I'll post some clips in this video because as soon as I seen it I had to start recording I just had to but I'll even post but this was the only one not another color not a, not a, a, another one in this color it was the only one y'all it was fake it was meant for me to have this bag it was meant for me to have this bag so let's get into it since your girl has waited so long and been on a mission to get this bag let's talk about the details of the bag so like I said it has like I guess you could say three straps it has a top handle so a cute little like you know you just want to hold it this way it has a um, faux leather strap as well let me get this off because they got her locked down so it has a nice long strap here that is like a faux leather and you can adjust it this you can adjust it and then there is the, I don't know if this is, again, correct me if I'm wrong, like a nylon fabric kind of strap here. And then it has the coin pouch. 
and the coin pouch i love these coin pouches on the steve madden bags because they have these little inserts in them let me scoot up so you can see so a lot of times like if i'm not carrying a wallet or i don't intend on carrying a wallet i will just slide my debit card and bank card in there and usually when you wear this the pouch ends up being like up top you know on your body so it keeps your valuables close to you so let me see how long the strap goes for us um heavy topped ladies okay let's see all right i think i got it as far as it'll go i haven't even tried this bag on y'all i was just in such disbelief that i found it but this is a nice little crossbody bag so even and this is as far like this is with extra slack i would probably bring it up a, a little bit just so that my coin pouch could sit a little bit further up but i mean like i said i am in previous videos i am a 42 double d and i have room and it's still a nice crossbody length so that's the straps and the length and i actually think that this one is a little bit longer than the um the fabric strap so if you're looking for more room you can use the faux leather one so let me clip that back on there so it has a little kind of button enclosure right here and i like that so you can keep your valuables you don't gotta worry about everything falling out of your purse it has two little slots here and then just like a nice open space here and then it has a back section of the purse. Let's take all of that out. And that's another like nice open section. And then right here it has another zipper as well. So if you want to, you know, secure your goods or whatever. Boom. So those are the details of this bag. I cannot believe that I finally found this bag. Like I... I literally like ran once I grabbed this bag I ran to the other side of the store to find my husband because he knows the struggle so I'm so excited I got it this is perfect for the spring I got a couple outfit ideas in my head but I gotta get my shoe game right because believe it or not even though I have a lot of shoes I can't think of a shoe that I have that would look good with these so I think I should treat myself to a pair of shoes right right so I'm happy though but this is it and I'll give you guys another I love like the Steve Madden um, little like I don't know emblem on here it's super cute um, I know that I had been seeing online a lot um, and you'll even see it on TikTok because I think that Steve Madden has released more of these and they're coming out in more colors they have this light blue one that i have my eyes on if i see it i'll probably get it if i don't it's okay because i got one i got one i'm not gonna be stingy like some of y'all that was buying like every single color but um i've been seeing on tiktok a lot of people that have been selling these bags that have boutiques and there's nothing wrong with that i'm not knocking anybody's hustle um but if you are looking for an authentic steve matt and bag one of the red flags is that someone or that the some of the businesses that are selling these the strap where it says steve Madden. let me scoot up so you can see where it says steve Madden. it's white in the ones that other people are selling the authentic one the steve Madden should be the same color as the bag it shouldn't be contrasting so um if you like those that's fine but there are some people that don't know and they think that they're buying the authentic one and they're not um, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I, you know, at some point I was almost, I was like this, I, look, let me show you how close that was. I was like that close, that close, maybe like, yeah, like that close to buying one. But whoever, the person or the business that I came across, first of all, they had the nerve to be selling it for more than what it is. So I got this for $34.99 and I think they wanted like 60 or $65. So I was just like. If I'm buying a fake bag or, yeah, I don't know if that's the right term. That might be offensive to some people. If I'm buying a dupe bag, it should be cheaper, right? 
or am I wrong? Like, I, I've never heard of someone spending more for a dupe bag than the real bag. I don't know. So, and I get, I'm not, again, I'm not knocking nobody's hustle because I know that there are some boutiques that have them. Even they were being sold on Walmart. That is a third party. So, don't think that just because you found your bag on Walmart, more than likely, it's a third party that is selling them through Walmart. So, just keep that in mind. Um, but I just, I... I wanted the authentic bag because I'm just like, okay, well, if it's $34.99, I don't want to spend more for a dupe that doesn't even have this, you know, the solid color. Like, I don't want to give it away. Like, yeah, so your girl waited and I, I and I was successful. I was successful. So I'm very happy. I love the bag. I cannot wait to wear her for the summer, spring. I got to come together with a real cute, like, tropical vibe um, so that I could pull this out. But I am so excited. If you're still looking for one of these, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. It took me 10 months, 11 probably at this point, to find this bag. So if you are still looking for it, just keep the faith. Periodically check your, you know, your TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I've heard some people getting them from Ross and Burlington, but I haven't come across anything that's indicated, at least in my city. Um, but if you're looking for it, keep hope alive. It's going to come. But that's all I have for you guys. If you got this far in the video, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know I appreciate y'all. And as always... Live in your life.